Hi everyone, it's great to see you. We're inside tonight because I am going to be doing the next step with our hydrangea cuttings. So it's been about six weeks when we took our hydrangea cuttings from the unknown purple hydrangea bush I have in the backyard. I happened to get some floral hydrangea also, and these were actually just stems that were in water. And you know, I decided rather than throw them away, I'd see if I could get some rootings from those too. So they've been kept underneath this container here. It has some air holes in the side. You can tell that it's nice and moist because there's a lot of moisture on the top and the sides. And I've checked on it a few times to make sure that it was moist. And sure enough, it looked that way. Now, as I look at these, I'm noticing a couple things. The leaf that fell off is very moldy, sign of moisture. This one here, not looking so good, this one. When they die and fall off like that, it looks like it probably got some root rot. So that is a no-go. But we're going to take the others out and see carefully how they did. So it's been six weeks. We're hoping, oh my goodness, we are hoping for this. Take a look at those roots. So it has a great start here. In fact, I can even see some little new buds coming. Ooh, I'm excited about this guy. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna lay them down here. We're gonna see how we did before I pot them up. Now, if you remember, this is a mixture that is about one half perlite. Oh, maybe, it, I think it was three quarters cup perlite to a quarter cup of potting mix. Okay, this one not quite as strong, but I do see a bunch of roots there. Worth keeping in my opinion, we'll give it a try. Let's see this baby. Now this is the one that had the one that rotted. Oh, but this one's looking pretty good. So I've been worried about them. I have to say it has been so hard not to pull these little guys up sooner. Now I'm just going to let the perlite stay stuck in those roots. That is absolutely fine. We don't want, I mean, those are tender little roots. We don't want to disrupt them. Okay. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Let's see how this guy did. Oh, I can see that there's some new growth here. So that's a great sign. If you're looking at your cuttings and they're strong enough to have put on some new growth, it's a very good sign. And sure enough, here we have more roots. Yay, we're gonna have lots of baby hydrangeas. It makes me wanna run out and take more hydrangea cuttings. <laughs> but that's okay, this is all I'm doing for this year. Oh, hello there, Pickle. Are you checking out the hydrangeas? These do not have quite as much, but not too bad. It has some roots started. And then here's our last one. Oh yeah, look at this baby. I love that. So exciting. So here's what we do now. I have taken and filled these little planters with some potting mix. And we are going to be very careful planting them. So you're going to have to use a dibbler or your hand to push the soil away. And you're going to want one or two of these per pot. This is what they're gonna overwinter in. So these are going to go into my shed come winter. We probably still have a good six weeks outside before we get a killing frost though. So I wanna make sure that they're very well taken care of. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put one on each side just like I had them before. Pickle, don't get in trouble there, darling. <laughs> yes, you look like a troublemaker. Okay, I'm moving them very carefully. Now, when I originally did this, I had put some rooting hormone on the stems. So they are rooted in. Okay, Pickle, I love you, baby, but we have to let you get down so that we can see what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, you are such an interested kitty. Right over here. 
Brush you off, white cat. Show everything. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Let's see. So here are our first two. I'm not adding more rooting hormone. I'm just carefully putting these in the side. So I actually dig a little hole in the side here. Plenty of space. Put it in and fill gently back around it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other. And then we are gonna hope for the best. <laughs> oh. So my goal now is to put these outside. And um, I will watch them, of course, carefully. You don't want too much water. You don't want too little water. And that's always tricky. And then they'll stay there until we have the killing frost and the leaves will fall off and they will look pretty dead. That's when I move them into the shed for the winter. And in the shed for the winter, they will stay there. I'll give them a little water once a month if needed for this size, maybe like a quarter cup of water a month until they come out in May. And if we're lucky, they will bloom. Look at these roots. Do you want to see the roots pickle? I know, it's amazing. Look at that. These hopefully will bloom next year. But I will keep them in the shed in the winter probably for two or three years at least until they are much stronger. Okay, so let's take a look at these. Oh. I know, Pickle, you were meant to be a horticulturalist. Let me see. Oh. Come here, baby. Here we go. You can come look over here. So here we have a great way to get more hydrangeas, which of course we absolutely love. And you can have the fun of seeing them grow. I mean, it really is, look at, I'm so excited that they grew roots. Every time it works, I just feel thrilled. So give it a try. It is not too late to go and take a couple cuttings, keep them inside. I'll link my first video on how to do that below. And you could have some baby hydrangeas for next year too. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Ha, <laughs>